Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's uh, it's obviously been a little bit since we've had any decent sized updates go live in MW2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. Obviously, the devs have been out on holiday break and New Year break for the past couple of weeks, but it seems like this week they are finally returning to the office, which means we are going to start to see things ramp up a lot in terms of just general gameplay updates, you know, those random hotfix updates that go live and fix a few things here and there. Maybe some surprise title updates to address some of the larger issues in the game because obviously there is a lot of them going on right now. Ultimately leading up to season two here in just a few weeks on February 1st, which is really the next major update for MW2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. But just initially today, as the devs have started to return to office, they've actually already gone through and updated a few things and revealed some brand new gameplay updates they are working on and some new fixes. They're gonna be coming here pretty soon, which of course is great news. So the majority of this intel is actually stemming from the Raven Trello board. Raven, of course, is pretty spot on when it comes to communication. They've been especially good really ever since the season one reloaded update. Hopefully Infinity Ward sort of follows suit there. And they're also updating things over the next few days uh, as much as Raven has recently. But uh, we did actually see one very minor change go live actually uh, over the weekend, according to the Trello board, uh, because they have gone through and actually archived this issue, completely marked it as uh, resolved and fixed is released. So for this one, the showcase, the social showcase feature was disabled while there was issues going on there where players could go through and copy and paste different uh, class setups and loadouts and weapon blueprints where you could like get Orion camo for free or polyatomic for free or even blueprints that you technically didn't own uh, because the whole showcase menu thing. So they actually completely removed that from the game temporarily. But according to the Trello, they have completely fixed that. It is now back live in game. You can have your whole showcase now uh, previewing your operator skin your weapons your calling cards all sorts of stuff like that for those interested in that that was sort of like a mini kind of stealth update if you will that went live over the weekend now live in game uh today we also got several new reveals though for other gameplay updates other gameplay changes that they are working on here so uh, actually several of these apply to warzone 2 and dmz specifically here uh first up there is an issue where you can get kicked from the party they are investigating an issue where some players may be kicked after a successful exfil in dmz so if you're partied up and you go to exfil there's a chance you could get completely removed from the party overall this one's relatively low impact on gameplay it shouldn't affect any of your challenges or any of your loot or anything like that it just makes you recreate the party which is a little time consuming especially because like friend requests in this game for whatever reason don't always work or party invites rather it's like you go and send out that message or that invite and then it just doesn't show up for the other party it's like hey man can you invite me Oh, I did a couple minutes ago. I didn't see anything. Can you invite me again? Well, now it says you can't get invited. The party is, uh, you know, not joinable. It's a whole thing going on there that the social menu definitely still needs a lot of work. Shout out that new UI because uh, that's really working great still. Uh, but they are aware of this whole party kick issue. Long story short there. Uh, and that should be fixed here soon. They've also addressed a specific issue with the Building 21 TAC map. We actually talked about this one a little bit ago. They are now sort of reiterating that this is still being worked on. They don't have a fix out for this yet. But uh, for Building 21, they are investigating an issue with the TAC map when it's uh, used in Building 21, where essentially the map just does not show up in game, which is uh, kind of inconvenient. Obviously, if you're trying to navigate through the building and whatnot, that map is uh, especially useful, especially because the building itself laid out kind of tricky, like it takes some getting used to to memorize all the hallways and all the corridors that you're going in and out of as you search for loot or you know try and find velican or whatever the case may be of course building 21 seems like it's mainly just live on the weekends now it seems like that's sort of what the cycle has been the past couple of weeks here not sure if that's going to change now that they're back in office to where it's live for 24 hours off for 24 hours back live for 24 hours or what the deal is there but it is obviously on and off pretty consistently here and it's not a full-time feature of dmz at the moment now, real quick, just a reminder as we're going through all these new changes here. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, every single day, I am your one-stop shop for all things going on in COD. Whether it is MW2, Warzone 2, or DMZ, you're going to find all the latest news and intel right here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications if you want to keep up to date with that stuff. Also, if you guys enjoy this video, let me know by dropping a like on it. It does really help the channel grow. Let's try and aim for 2,000 likes on this one. Really do appreciate all the love, all the support on the channel lately. Y'all are absolutely crushing it every single day. Also want to show some love over to my friends at G Fuel. Of course, if you guys are ever looking to restock on your favorite flavors, try out something new or pick up one of the brand new releases, G Fuel's doing a ton of awesome collabs right now. 
code immortal always has it covered with at least 20 percent off everything on the site plus any of the new flavors that drop any of the new collector's boxes or bundles that drop code immortal is actually always boosted to get you 30 percent off on all of those so a bit of an extra discount on all the new flavors coming out as well so if you guys ever want to check that out link will be in the description below of course the more the code gets used the better the chance of maybe our shaker cup re-releasing or eventually us getting our very own flavor so feel free to check that out again link is down below anyway continuing on with these new changes that raven has gone through and updated us with uh another very very big one here the insured weapons in dmz they say they are investigating an issue where insured weapons are not equipping when loading into a match this has been an issue really ever since day one of dmz honestly where yeah you might have your tac 56 or your rpk or whatever in your insured weapon slot but then you go and actually load into the game and you just have your fists or you just have your secondary weapon whatever that may be if you have a contraband weapon uh you know that you're bringing in as well and then you don't end up getting to use your insured weapon sometimes this can actually uh mess up your insured weapon slot and count it as you losing your insured weapon and then of course you have that two hour countdown which is super obnoxious other times it just treats it like it bugged and you just couldn't pick it up in games so you load back out to the main menu and you still have your insured weapon which is nice if it you know screws up and glitches out and you don't have that for a match but it seems very random as to whether or not it works or it doesn't so they are now fully aware of that one and hopefully we see a fix for that here asap because like i said that's been ongoing literally since day one of dmz so for quite some time now that's been a problem hopefully we see that one resolved here shortly then the last new update here on the Trello board is for general loadout weapons they are investigating an issue where loadout items do not load into a match which obviously also is a very big problem across warzone and dmz where you could be going for that loadout and then just randomly you don't get any of the rewards in that now this has been an issue with uh you know your actual creative class setups there where you have all 10 if you don't customize all 10 of them and you go into a buy station to purchase your loadout items or your creative class custom guns uh it'll give you a random one unless you go through and individually create a class on all 10 of those loadouts so for whatever reason it gets messed up in game it thinks that you have you know uh less weapons than you actually do because you maybe left your last three custom loadouts as the default setups because you don't ever use those well that's now going to cause you to get the incorrect gun out of the buy station or whatever so just a heads up be weary of that make sure you customize all 10 of your setups even if you're not going to use them that way you can actually get the guns you want and you don't have this issue where your loadout items are not spawning into the match correctly there so just a little psa there one issue i will say i'm a uh, i'm a bit disappointed to not see mentioned on the trello because this is another problem that's been going on literally since day one uh specifically in battle royale is the actual free loadout drops the icons disappear as soon as one person picks up that loadout so unless you go to the gulag and respawn or you're bought back none of those loadout icons on the map for all the free drops that come in in zone two are going to show up past like the first 12 seconds of them being live in the match which obviously is super obnoxious you have to basically memorize really quickly where all the loadouts spawned in at so if you're far away you can rotate over and hope you find the smoke or hope you find the loadout crate because the icons for whatever reason just completely disappear if anyone from raven or infinity ward or just call of duty in general is watching this just a heads up definitely a uh, very big issue would love to see that uh pop up on the trello and make sure that everyone is aware of that and we can get that fixed here soon because certainly a very obnoxious bug going on here again pretty much since day one all that being said though those are the new gameplay updates the new gameplay changes and fixes that have been revealed for uh pretty much warzone 2 and dmz here that's gonna wrap things up if you guys enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications so you can guarantee you're always up to date with all things going on in cod but once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.